I want to welcome you here tonight to a fantastic event. Uh, it's our grand opening, our official opening of the planetarium. I want to ask our superintendent uh, to come up, Dr. Michelle Harma, and say a few words about our opening and about this project. Michelle. Well, welcome to all of you. This is just an exciting and very special evening for Wayne Westland Community Schools, but our community at large as well, and in particular for John Glenn High School and the reinstituting of our planetarium. Um, it's exciting and very heartwarming to see how the community got together to say, hey, we have an idea, and it came to fruition so very quickly. Uh, you all know, and I know too, that strong communities build strong schools and strong schools build strong communities. And this is absolutely a representation of that. This reopening is the result of a strong school district that created an interest in science and a passion for learning in its students, who in turn, as an alumni or a group of alumni, ignited a community effort to ensure that generations of children to come would have the same opportunities that they had with the planetarium here at John Glenn High School in Wayne Westland. As Helen Keller once shared, alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. This program tonight will show you what together we can all do to help our children to learn and to grow and to ignite a fire of learning and interest in our students, but also our community, because this will be a planetarium that we will open to our community at large as well, and we hope others can enjoy it as much as our <coughs> students here and our staff will enjoy it. So you're going to hear more about the community partnership how this all came to be. But for now, I'd like to thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting the reopening of the planetarium. And I'll let Dave tell the wonderful story of how we got to where we are today. We were here uh, not too long ago having some discussions about the planetarium and what could be done with a few folks that wanted to see it open. Um, some of you uh, have remembrance of when you were in third or fifth grade and, and came to the planetarium and got that show. And every, I see the nodding heads going back and forth. That's why you're here tonight. That's what you remembered. Uh, tonight, we're gonna have you go in and we're gonna show you a new show. There are two things I want you to get. I see you already have one probably. Uh, one is our new grand opening agenda for tonight and it kind of lays out what we're gonna do tonight. But well, we also want to celebrate the past, and we're going to give you one of the original 1964 agendas from the original opening. So we can compare just the program of what we did on a typewriter, now we, what somebody did on a typewriter in 1964, and what we did with graphic design today in 2016. Because what you're going to see inside today uh, just like 1964, at that time, the planetarium was new. It was state-of-the-art. It was the best there was in Michigan. You're going to see that tonight. It's going to be 2016 state-of-the-art, the best there is in Michigan. We're going to be one now of six schools that gets back on the active list in Michigan for having an active planetarium. And we can do that after tonight, after our official opening. made possible by all of you. So the other thing we're going to celebrate tonight, besides the grand opening of the planetarium, is all of our community support and our community donors. We're going to talk a little bit, I want you to see the show first, we're going to talk a little bit about the donors. We're going to recognize how it got started just uh, less than a year ago. Where's Steve Copenin? Steve, there's Steve. He's going to talk to us about how he started this project just a short 13 months ago. Uh, and got people together and talked. But I will tell you, even with Steve's start, it took our new superintendent to reach out to our community and start those conversations so that we could then get together and have the opportunity to have the real talks. Without Michelle Harmela doing that for us, we wouldn't be here today. This is the second celebration that John Glenn High School has had with the community this year. Just two months ago, we celebrated our first ever semester banquet with our Champions of John Glenn program. That's another program that is totally community-based. And here we are today, just a couple of months later, with another totally community-based program that you all have done 
with our school and with our school district. So you should be very proud of that. Since it started 13 months ago, and I think we got the GoFundMe site up sometime first week of July, Steve, uh, and then we started having a conversation with all the donors we're going to celebrate tonight once we see the program. Uh, you have raised over $60,000 to fund this program. With that money, you will see there tonight, we have a new projector, new lighting, and new sound so that the John Glenn High School Planetarium is now the finest in the state. It's state-of-the-art 2016. So uh, we think you're going to be very impressed because most of you will remember the 1964 version, and uh, it'll be quite a bit different. <laughs>